ever visited a friend's home and thought to yourself, wow, look at what a few bright pops of colors can do to your home. Today, I'm going to show you how you too can have that picture perfect look to, to your home with very little time and money involved. You can create an easy custom pillowcase that can be removed for a quick cleaning or just a quick change in decor. For this envelope pillow, you will need fabric, thread, cutting board, cutter, or scissors, pillow form, and a sewing machine. So the fabric that I'm using today is this really pretty marble fabric with just a the tad bit touch of sparkle that goes great with my room decor. The thread that I will be using is just simple white thread so that it matches my pillow and blends in. I will be using a cutting board today instead of scissors because it just makes it real easy for me, but you can also use scissors if you do not have a cutting board. And then you will need a pillow form. I will be using a 16 inch pillow form because we will be making a 16 inch pillow. And then you will need a sewing machine. I do not have a sewing machine with me today due for time purposes, but it is real simple for you just to quickly do at home as well. So after we've got all of our materials together, we can finally start going into making our envelope pillow. So the directions for this envelope pillow is you will need to select your fabric, select the pillow size, cut the fabric, finish the raw edges, make envelope, stitch sides, and then turn the case and place it in the form. So the fa as you see, the fabric I chose is this fabric. It's really cute and simple. And then we will need our pillow size, which is, you can create basically any pillow size that you want with this tutorial, but today I will be using a, making a 16 inch pillow, so you will need um, 16 by 40 inches of fabric for this pillow. And then you will need to cut your fabric. So how you're gonna to wanna to cut it, if you're using a cutting board, is you're going to want to fold it over, And you will just gonna want to line it up with the 16 by 20. And you are just going to want to cut right along the edges of the fabric. I already have mine pre-cut today due to time purposes. But whenever you are cutting, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you are always cutting away from you and not towards you. So that way you don't accidentally chop off a finger because this blade is really sharp. And whenever you are done cutting, you're going to want to make sure you always press this button to put the blade back in. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut straight along the edges and then you're going to come up here to the top and you're going to cut straight along that. And so after you have cut, you're just going to, now it's time to stitch the side, uh, make, stitch, finish the raw edges. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take the top part where you cut, and you're just going to fold over maybe a half an inch, and then you're going to do that for the other side as well. And so I'm going to be pinning mine because it just helps keep the fabric still while I'm cutting, but you don't have to pin it. So you're just going to pin right down along the edges. And so after you've pinned it, you are going to want to make sure you just sew straight down the edges, just follow the pins and just go straight down the edges and you're going to want to make sure you backstitch when you do that. So now that we have um, finished our raw edges, it's now time for us to make the envelope. So you're going to do is you're going to want to unfold the fabric and you are going to want to um, you're going to want to take the bottom and fold it up to the top. And then you're going to want to take the top and fold it down to the bottom. And you're going to want to fold it over maybe two or three inches. So that way, whenever you put your pillow in, that there's no pillow that shows through the gap where you can insert your pillow at. And so after you do that, You've made your envelope, you're going to want to stitch the sides. So again, I'm going to be pinning, but it's not necessary. So you're just going to want to pin both sides of the pillow. And 
And so after you've pinned both sides, you're just going to want to sew straight along the edge of the pillow and you're going to want to make sure you backstitch as well. So after we have sewed our edges, it is now time for us to turn the pillow the right way because it is inside out where we sewed. So it goes together and it looks like one piece of fabric. And so we're going to turn it inside out. And you're going to want to make sure you get the corners nice and pointy and make sure that everything is turned the right way. So I want to do it like that. So after we've turned it, it is now time for us to put our pillow into the case. It's real easy just to slide it real quick, easy in. So after you've put your pillow in, you have a you have your pillow made. And so when it, with doing these pillows is that it's real easy to just switch your pillow. And so what you can do is you can just take it and you can just take your pillow out of the case, and you can just put another case back on it, say maybe change of seasons or decor. And it's just super quick and cheap. And you can just have these laying in drawers instead of, stack, instead of having a bunch of pillows for each season. You can just stack and fold these fabric up real easy. And it's easy storage as well. See, This pillowcase is a little big for this pillow form. So let's review our directions. So first, you're going to slice your fabric, select your pillow size, cut the fabric, finish the raw edges, make the envelope, stitch sides, turn case, and then you need to place your pillow in the form. So why not be thrifty and make up a few of these to add to your color and festivity around your home? Make these picture-perfect pillows will make you and your wallet very happy. And then you too can have that wow moment.